Hi everyone and welcome to Team Selection. Every home game we'll be having a look at the team with senior coach Ross Lyon. G'day Ross, how are you? Very well, Sean. Hey, probably, I'm probably starting in the wrong position, but we are going to talk about last week. First of all, wasn't the start we are looking for? No, certainly not. We all had a greater expectation than we delivered on and um, it's really hard to judge our form because there was times we thought we were in the game and we attacked and we were on top early, we couldn't get reward and then some really poor skill errors, but out of it we've been able to identify um, some ball use um, factors and our team defence just tightening that up. And I think we bring the same effort. We, we should be able to put on a really good show against Essendon. Well, it's going to be a tough game, as we know. Essendon beating last year's uh, grand finals in Adelaide. And the last quarter in particular, they really come hard over the top. What are you expecting? Yeah, certainly watched that last quarter. Um, Essendon were strong in the legs and really fierce in the contest and their key forwards started to take some marks, Hooker. So we've got to really respect um, Danaher and Hooker and then also Stewart's there, so the three talls. Um, based on that would bring Hamling into the team and uh, hopefully Johnson and Pierce are there as well. So um, we, we're certainly going to look at the midfield to bolster that a little bit. It was an area we fell away in, in the f after the last after the first quarter, so Adam Cheryl make his debut. Fantastic. Yeah, and we're also looking to bring Mitch Crowden in as well. So two debutants, so um, Brayshaw and Banfield will hold their spot. So that's really exciting. That really f four first year players with a collective total of two games between them. So, but it's exciting. It's it's our future. We feel we've got a really good batch underneath. Tom North's been going really well. He didn't play last week with injury. And, Hugh Dixon, so you know they're the ones going to drive us forward in combination with our senior guys like Fife and Hill and the Hill Hill brothers. Really, it's good to see that um, we've been able to get some super value out of the draft this particular year. And I know a lot of people were unbelievably excited. So the buy-in from those new players have been um, top level. Yeah, I've said like often draftees find everything new and shiny. There's a few distractions in Perth and. But this group's been really focused on um, training hard and they're in a hurry to become AFL players and it's reflecting in some dominant waffle um, performances. So we want to reward that. Look, there's some challenges at senior level and, um, you know, Andy started really well against um, Port Adelaide but ended up with seven, position, seven possessions and in inside mid. But we need to stick with him and grow him. And, but there'll be that balance throughout the year of opportunity versus going refresh and get some form in the waffle. Well, we have got Stephen Hill coming back into the team um, with Brad playing his first game last week. He had a bit of an interrupted pre-season as well. Must be excited to have those two guys back on the wings. Yeah, Stephen's been a high performer for a long period of time and he gives us distribution and real speed. Port Adelaide had a little bit of a speed edge, so mm -hmm. um, Stephen coming into the team should help that. And Adam Cherry's got a bit of pace and Crowden as well. Uh, lastly, let's talk about the home ground. Brand new Optus Stadium is going to be roaring come Saturday. What are you expecting? Well, it's a, it's a new dimension for us, isn't it? So, um, sat there and watched the, the, the opener there last week, but it would be great to see it full of purple. Plenty of noise. We want to play with you know, intense effort and, and get our fans involved, but there, there's plenty of opportunities for um, game day entertainment, interaction with the crowd. So, I think it brings everyone closer together and it's what WA football, and in particular, the Dockers supporters have been crying out for. No doubt about it. Well, we are looking for a, a positive game this weekend against Essendon. and a huge crowd following the team, of course, Ross. And uh, we've heard all the ins and outs, mate. Good luck with the new players in particular. Seeing some more deputants out there in purple would be fantastic. Thanks, Sean. Yeah, very exciting time and everyone get there. Well, that's it for this week. We'll see you next week for our away game against the Gold Coast Suns, which will be our Starlight Purple Haze game. See you then.